Hello YouTube. I figured I'd try a new series of things today. Make sure you let me know what you think by like, comment, subscribe in the bottom. But we're going to do Commander Deck Techs. And this is one I've had built for a while called Marath Will of the Wild. And as you see, he's an elemental beast. He costs one white, one green, one red, so it's a Naya deck. That's awesome. You know what else is awesome? He enters the battlefield with a number of plus one, plus one counters equal to the number of mana spent to cast it. And so as you know, with Commander, every time Commander dies, it costs two more to play. And you can take these uh, counters off of it to put counters on things, to make dudes, or to ping people. Now let's abuse this with some doubling season. Let's get double our tokens, and let's get double our counters. Or we could just use parallel lives. Doubling our tokens yet again. And then we have Primal Vigor. Now this one, this one's kind of more of a group hugger because the opponent can use it too, but yeah. Second Harvest, when you get a lot of tokens, let's have twice as many. You never get sick of tokens. But you're also making plus one, plus one counters. So a cheap addition like Hardened Scales, this is great. Makes everything bigger. Experiment one. This will just constantly be growing, and it can regenerate itself by taking those counters off. Hanger back walker. This should be in almost every commander deck anyway. And hey, it's all about counters and tokens. Scavenging ooze. Get rid of all those things that you really don't want to deal with. And have a dude. Voice of Resurgence. Make some really powerful tokens when people try to manipulate your shit. Champion of Lambhold. This will eventually make all your dudes unblockable if it stays alive, so keep it alive. Spike Feeder. This will keep you alive as well by gaining you copious amounts of life. And we all love life. Eldrazi Displacer. Bounce all the enter into battlefield effects. Wait to see how to abuse this. Nissa Voice of Sendikar. It makes dudes. It puts plus one, plus one counters on things, gains your life, and draws your cards. Inexorable Blob. This is a nightmare when you have a bunch of doubling season effects in play because the tokens come into play tapped and attacking. This untaps lands. This makes dudes. And yeah, creatures control get bigger and trample. Overrun's always good. This does lots of stuff. It does damage. It makes dudes. It gains your life. And you can do it over and over again. Advent of the Worm. Nice and simple. Make a nice 5-5. Five five. Gaviny Township. It puts a plus one, plus one counter on all your dudes. Double it. It's great. Growing ranks. At the beginning of your upkeep, populate. Make any of your tokens again. With doubling season, this gets stupid. Tristani Celestia's voice. Could be a great commander by yourself. Gains your life. And populates on a stick. Restoration Angel. When you need to save your dudes from some kind of targeted removal. Or you just want to flash something that does something when it comes into play. Xenagos the Reveler. Makes dudes. Adds a... Bunch of mana, ultimate wins you the game. Not said. Archangel of Thune. Uh, yeah, whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on everything you control. You gain a lot of life, if you've seen already. This dude makes dudes. He draws your cards, and then he makes a bunch of dudes. You want this dude. Assemble the Legion. Consistent source of ever-increasing dudes. Sounds like what you want. Colonian Hydra. Doubles the number of counters on each creature you control whenever it attacks. Armada Worm. Comes into play as a 5-5 trampling dude. Makes another one. I'd say that's pretty alright. Whenever land comes into the battlefield under your control, get a 4-4 dude. Yeah, okay. Let's double that too. This is nuts when you have doubling season in play. Because it makes XXX green hydra things. This makes another bird. But also, when it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking creature. See where this is going? Whenever an opponent casts a spell with Sunscorch Regent, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it and gain a life. Doubling season. Gahiji Honored One. Doesn't double anything, but it makes your token army a lot more painful to deal with in the battlefield. Worm Coil Engine. When it dies, it makes two dudes. Doubling season, it makes a lot of dudes. Aurelia the War Leader. Additional attack phases are fun. That's honestly the only reason it's here. Chandra Flamecaller makes dudes, draws you cards, and deals damage to each creature. Elspeth Sun's Champion makes dudes, blows up all big dudes. And if you can get that emblem, you're set. Hornet Queen, uh, you know, 
makes dudes with death touch. Double them. Avenger Zendikar. I don't really think I need to explain this. This is pretty much in every green EDH deck ever. Elish Norn. Makes your dudes better. Makes their dudes suck more. That's what you want. World Breaker. You can't bounce this to get the effect again, but it does recur itself by sacrificing lands. World Spine Worm. Makes gigantic dudes when it dies. But how are you going to play all these, like, gigantic things? Ramp. Birds of Paradise. Easy. Commander Staple. Saw Ring. Commander Staple. Pay one mana to get two mana. That sounds legit to me. Expedition Map. Go get any land you need. Put it in your hand. One and done. Cryptolith Right. Boy, it'd be nice if all those tokens made mana. Oh, wait. They do. That's awesome. Search for tomorrow. You can cast a third turn. You can cast your first turn. Either way, it's putting a land on the battlefield. Explosive Vegetation. This will go get two basic lands and put them on the battlefield tapped, which is just swell at a four drop. Tempt with Discovery. This will get you a lot of land or it'll get you one of any land you want. Hope someone's mana screwed. Mina and Den Wildborn. Play an additional land on each of your turns, or give one of your dudes trample. That seems like a good idea. You gotta have your charms. This one makes your dudes indestructible. The other two things are great too, but you know what you're using it for. This will get rid of something with power 5 or greater exile-wise, or give something trample, or make a dude. This should be in every Naya deck. It's another regrowth. It also does other stuff, but I usually regrowth with it. And speaking of regrowth, you should also probably put regrowth in this deck since it's a bitchin' ass card. Doesn't cost a lot, gets you anything. This will blow up artifact and enchantment and hurt them a little bit for daring to play an artifact or an enchantment. This will do the same thing, but it won't hurt them. It'll just give you a token. But with doubling season in play, you may as well be hurting them. Swords to plowshares. Exile any creature. Yeah, they're gaining life, but you'll beat that out of them soon enough. Path to exile. Exile any creature. Sure, they get a land, but y whatever. It's a creature removal. Spirit Bomb. This makes dudes, and it saves dudes. Nice little utility thing to have. So, of course, you got to have Swift Foot Boots or your Lightning Greaves. Don't care what you use. I like this one because I could target my stuff. Uh, then you got to get your removal. Wrath of God. It's a staple for a reason. Blow shit up. But I like this one. Because it blows shit up exile-wise. And with your doubling seasons in play, you get a bunch of angels. And that's pretty sweet. This is just great for everything. You get dudes. You get counters. You get life. So on to the lands. Not a lot to say about Command Tower, except that you need that in every commander deck you build. Mana Confluence. It's another Command Tower that hurts you a little bit every time you use it. You can also replace this with City of Brass. Opal Palace. When you cast Marath and you can make them have more counters that can be doubled, you want to do that. Rupture Spire. It's kind of like a weaker command tower, but it does get you any mana you need, which is great for mana fixing. Jungle Shrine comes into play tap, but it taps for whatever you need. So, easy include here, really. Wooded Foothills. Gotta have your fetch lands. And if you have one of those Zendikari Expeditions, you're a lucky person. Because here's another one. Windswept Heath. Forest of Plains. Again, mana fixing. Gotta have it. Evolving Wilds. Same deal. You know what Evolving Wilds does. You've seen it everywhere. How about Naya Panorama? It's an Evolving Wilds, but for specifically your colors. So I guess another Evolving Wilds. Here's a Rootbound Crag. These are the lands that enter the battlefield tap unless you control a basic of the two colors they produce. Of course, we'll be including... Sun Petal Grove as well, and Cliff Top Retreat, I believe it's called, the red and white one. And yeah, just easier mana fixing. You'll always have a basic out, especially, you know, if you're scrying with your temples. And yes, we have the three temples, Temple of Abandon, Temple of Triumph, and the Temple of Plenty, the green white one. You like to scry, you like to see what's coming, helps you set yourself up. As you saw, I didn't put a top in here. So, that's what you got to do. Then you also got to have your pain lands, or shock lands, or whatever you want to call them. You know, your temple garden, your stomping ground, and your sacred foundry. 
because they're basically dual lands in this format. They don't hurt you, so who cares, you know? And they also count for those tap things coming to play tapped unless you control something. How about uh, Man Land? Just because it's there, it'll block flyers. It's kind of a weakness of this deck. Mosswort Bridge! You can get uh, 10 power on the board pretty easy, so cast and stuff for one green. Mm. Temple of the False God. Five lands, not hard to get. Tap this, get two mana. Yeah. Homeward Pass. Do you ever, like, get people stealing your stuff and it really annoys you? Yeah, this fixes that. Kessig Wolf Run. This will finish them when it is time. Use it wisely. Then, of course, you have your basics. Because you got to have basics to search for. So, you know, eight forest. And you have your basics mountains. You want to have three of those for sure as well. And then, finally, you want to end off with three planes. So there you have it, the entire deck. Let me know what you thought of the video. If we get lots of likes, I'll make sure to continue on next week with Rakdos, Lord of Riots.